right, my friends, this is Mrs. Moore coming to you out in front of the school. Just gonna kind of clarify some of the drop off and pick up procedures that we're gonna start next week. So out there, that is Boggs. We cannot have you parking out there. That is our bus lane in the morning and in the afternoon. So please do not park along Boggs. When you come in, if you are doing a drop off or pickup, we're gonna create it like it was our device pickup. So if you're a kindergarten student, if you're picking up or dropping off a kindergarten student, oh, the cone has turned. We're gonna start with kindergarten right here. So we'll just pull in and wait patiently. If you are not picking up a kindergartner or dropping off a kindergartner, you'll pass along the left to go down to the cone that is your site. Remember, that's exactly how we did it. The students will be waiting here in the afternoon. Let's see right here, let me turn this. And this is also the place where you would drop them off in the morning as they get out of the car. We'll have staff members out here. So kindergarten would be here. First grade is here. So you'll pull your car forward if you're dropping or picking up a first grader, followed by a second grader and a third grader. Now, if you have, let's say you have a first grader and a fourth grader, obviously you would stop at the first grade cone first, go out to the left and proceed very carefully down to the fourth grade cone. One of the adjustments we did have to make, however, was um, when we did the device drop off, none of the staff were parking right here. So <clears throat> third grade will stop here, pick up, drop off at third grade. We're asking that you then drive around if you're going to fourth or fifth grade. We drive around the staff parking and stop fourth and fifth grade or further down. Um, please be very cautious. Notice over here on the side, if you're going to fourth or fifth grade, you could be along where the um, staff parking is and there is space for people when they are leaving to go around to the left since this is a one way street. We ask for your patience. I know, especially in the afternoon, sometimes we're trying to get the kiddos out of here as quickly as possible and we're impatient with our staff, the car in front of you, the car behind you. We're just asking you to be very patient. Take it slow and easy. Your kiddos will be waiting out here with you with a staff member. One of the reasons we're doing this is so that our cohorts stay together, trying to mitigate as much safety as possible. So here is the fourth grade cone. We'll be right over around here. It's right there. And then the fifth grade cone is down there. Okay. Now, one difference between that and this is if you are uh, dropping off in the morning, if you are dropping off just for the drop off, if you're in Ms. Lazar's class, Ms. Mahako's class, or Ms. Cochaver's class. What we're asking you is to go right into the parking lot back there and drop your students off back there because then they can walk around to the back of their classroom doors from that location and they won't have to walk all the way around the building. So once again, we're gonna try to be as safe as possible. It's going to be set up just like we did for our device deployment. We thank you for your patience. So starting on Monday, we'll be just kindergartners. We'll add kindergarten first the second day. Uh, second graders will add in on Tuesday, third graders on Wednesday. No, that's wrong. <laughs> kindergarten Monday, first grade, Tuesday, second grade on Wednesday, third grade will add in on Thursday, and fourth and fifth grade will be joining us on Friday. So Friday will be the big day. Thank you so much for your patience, and we'll make it work, and if it's not working, we'll make adjustments.